Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Rochester, where we're in uh, the f grand finals of the regional championships that happened back in April of 2016. This is Tim. I'm Sean. And this is Brandon. And we've got Josh here on the left, who has swept his way through the top eight. He's coming in undefeated. And then we've got Jake on the right playing HB, who we just saw play in the last round. So since he's coming up out of the loser's bracket, Jake would have to win two games in a row here to take the whole shebang. Josh is looking for just a single victory. Riding wizard to the top. Riding on that Lots wizard. Of wizard around today. Yes, yeah. Wizard accounted for half of the top eight by himself and a pretty large portion of the entire tournament. <laughs> and it's always tricky when you see that too, because you know there's there are powerful variants of wizard, and mm -hmm. it's easy to fall into the trap of assuming you know yeah. every card in the deck. But then every once in a while, they'll come out with something sneaky. Yeah, and that's what we we've seen in a few tournaments since this happened of these kind of account siphon based wizards that everyone's expecting right. it to be the wizard. Oh, and he sees accidentally oh. flips the Jeeves, and so since we're at a a top level tournament, mm -hmm. he is forced to res it. He, nobody would have actually probably forced him, but following the rules here, good fellows. And it is exciting to see Jeeves here because yeah. uh, at this point, Jeeves is only a couple couple days old. Yeah, Jeeves is brand new in that Salset Island pack. And very exciting. He was a. Uh, when he got spoiled, everyone just lost their minds. It is just the coolest card effect. <laughs> and uh, it's pretty typical, I think, at this point, too, in the game when. Uh, when, you, when you're playing in a tournament and you, a card shows up that you don't recognize because it's only a couple days old, you trash it. Yes. You don't, let it, you don't want to find out the hard way no. what that thing is capable of if yeah. you're not familiar with it. Yeah, so since we've seen Jeeves, if you're unfamiliar with this deck, the idea behind it is it runs Jeeves and uh, the subliminal messaging and shipment from Sansan, which that counts as three clicks of playing operations, and subliminal doesn't really cost you a click, so you can use it to score an agenda off the table uh, while making money. If, as long as Jeeves is rezzed. But we see Josh go in there and kill Jeeves straight away. And already Wizard doing as it's doing its thing. <laughs> as it is wont to do. Blowing up ice and trashing stuff for cheap. Yeah. And that is the thing compared to more the more standard HB decks, is this Jeeves deck, since it has so many combo pieces, it does run a little lighter on the ice and the econ compared to like the food coats build that we're used to seeing. And so if he's not hitting those combo pieces, it can be a little trickier to score out against someone that's just bombing all of your stuff into the ground. So on seven credits, that's most of this ice resible out of HB that you expect. Uh, data suckers, so you don't want to just go willy-nilly in trash programs. And we see Josh just moneying up using the stack of poker chips. So the red chips here are fives for Josh, and the whites are ones, and he tends to stack the ones into piles of fives, so things stay nicely readable. And then Jake, of course, using those lovely Team Covenant tokens. Good guys there over there at Team Covenant. There's the Jackson. There goes the Jackson. Trip. Yeah. <laughs> the wizard is the Jackson killer. Got a target on his back. And that was even before uh, Wizard became popular. I remember there was a guy in our, our local playgroup who just started playing Wizard, he's like, yeah, everybody plays Jackson, so why don't I play Wizard and just trash him? Even if nobody's playing any other assets, I'm just going to kill Jackson over and over. Wizard was the butt of everybody's joke yeah. for a long time. when he while. first came out, because when Wizard came out, Operation yeah. Economy was king, and so everybody was like, yeah. why would I ever do this? Noise is amazing. <laughs> and now, yeah, oh, assets, have yeah <laughs> assets have just gotten very strong, and even more so in the, the Mumba cycle, especially in... Uh, the business first pack. That's when the game of that runner broke. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it was right about that. We all the sky fell. We all stopped playing Netrunner and went home. Yeah, we we joke about how HB ETF is kind of the default. Uh, always will be good ID because it's one free credit a turn. Mm -hmm. Well, Wizard is three free yeah. credits a turn. As long as you're, you know, and you can expect almost relevant. all of your op opponents are playing assets. Even if you don't use it all every turn. Yeah. <laughs> if you use it's, all three credits once every three turns, it yeah. pretty much works out. It is better than Kate, it turns out. All right, so we have some moves being made over there. So wraparound okay. coming up. So yeah, with this Jeeves deck, there is a little bit more rush focus on the ice. And that is the efficiency committee getting scored out, which with the shipments from Sansan enables some really cheap fast advance plays where you can you know install the 3-2 the agenda, advance it once, Grab more clicks with Efficiency Committee, and then shipment from Sansan. Sans, since you're not 
technically advancing the agenda. It still works. You're just playing a card? Yeah, yeah, just playing a friendly <laughs> card. Every now and then I wonder what if the how much the designers knew was coming and how much they uh, yeah. caught them by surprise. Like, shipment from Sansan. Would they ever imagine that that card would enable so many yeah. those insane combos? I know, and I'm I'm actually really sad it's going to be rotating out when rotation happens next year because it does enable so many of these cool little combos, which some people hate the cool combos, but I'm a big fan of uh, combo play. That rips the Vitruvius off the top. Yeah, levels it off at two. Yeah. Wild side is up. Data Sucker is sucking. Although this this is the time in the game where Wizard is quite, although we do, we just saw him draw the David. I was about to say he's quite fragile because he's looking for a David to break wrap around, but there it is. And so at this phase in the game, that very well could be another agenda there behind the wrap around. HB is has two three twos, and you know that if we see Jeeves, we're assuming that he's running the full suite of yep. six three twos. Oh, and it so. was it was Jeeves though. Which you, this would make Josh broke, but probably worth it. Yeah, I would say it feels like you have to, and he chooses to leave it up. Which especially at this point, Jeeves had like just come out, and everybody was really excited about this Jeeves combo, and so you know it's really vital to the deck. And I think he's trashed two of them already, so a little surprising that we don't see the Jeeves trash there. Especially with wraparound being the remote ice, he can break it for free. But. Uh, Josh perhaps has a grand plan here. And this deck does not run Ash, right? It's purely like... I think Jake's possible. version did have Ash in there okay. as a, a kind of a second option because sure. that's what I had found. And I was, I really wanted to play this deck at the regionals, but I wasn't confident enough. <laughs> um, and so that's what I found is that without an Ash or something like that, if right. your Jeeves fan plan falls flat, you're just completely out of steam. Okay. So having something else to help you score is nice. I believe he had it in there. Yeah. We just saw Jeeves used as the, uh, the really fancy pad campaign. <laughs> yes. That was the big joke <laughs> when it came out. Yeah. Click for four. Yep. Harkening back to the, the collective back in the, the Kronos protocol. Or no, what, no, what was the US one? It was the uh, plugged in plugged tour. Plugged in tour. That's the one. Plugged in tour where we decided to get Laramie Fisk into the game. Oh, who's, boy. <laughs> who's had a <laughs> massive <laughs> impact. Uh, and vote out the collective. I mean, at that point, I mean, that's just where the game was. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> at that point, everybody was playing Magnum Opus, and so, yep. wow, you can click Opus five mm. times in a turn. <laughs> Breaks the game in half. But yeah, it's nice to see that we get the effect back in Jeeves, so that's cool yep. that they're still thinking about these things. Jeeves, Haley, there's a lot of, like, click compression yeah. going on. Okay, so there we see the uh, using efficiency committee and shipment from Sand Sand to score a quick 3-2 from hand. And I believe it makes him a dollar in the process on the install. <laughs> Not bad. Yeah, it does. <laughs> Not bad. See, so yeah, it's interesting. Efficiency committee will never rotate out, but we will see shipment from Sand Sand leaving. Oh, and there's the architect. And the question becomes, what do you play efficiency committee? Yeah. <laughs> yeah I want, maybe there'll be something that takes advantage mm -hmm. of extra clicks in a similar fashion. We have seen a lot more doubles come out recently. Yeah, that's too. true. Yeah. So just being able to play many doubles, that's good. And we see Bionic. So that's his his other way to score agendas besides the Jeeves and Efficiency Committee shenanigans. Architect, very good against this wizard deck. Uh, he's usually got a one-of mimic. And before that, they're having to spend quite a few cards off Faust to break through it. Three. Yeah. So that's, that is... Not only is it three, the big thing, too, it's three cards every time. Yeah, right? permanently. Right. Usually Dumble Forks is not planning on breaking through ice multiple times. Exactly. It's looking to do it once or twice, and then it blows it up. Mm -hmm. And especially in this deck, you're, you've got a lot of high-impact assets. Oh. That you're, oh, double architect. Oh, man. My God. <laughs> and you actually, you probably pitch them, because you can't parasite the architects. Parasiting down the wraparound will take forever. So he probably chucks levy and medium. And then will we see him continue, or is this a jack out here? It's a jack out. Takes some money. 
So that's going to slow things down in R&D for a little while until he's able to find a mimic. But Jake, yeah, just sitting down on one credit, not a, not a ton else to do right now, really. Install credit, credit, pretty standard. Yeah. For bad. Ah, and here's the employee strike. Which, man, you don't realize how many credits you miss on HB until you don't get them. You're just crediting up and taking hedge fund money. So is that all three Jeeves that have been trashed out of? That, yes. Yeah, so <laughs> at this point we know he has a biotic in hand. Uh, he's at money. Well, actually, no, with the employee strike, he's not at biotic money. He would need a full seven. And there's Victor one. Victor one doesn't always see a lot of play out of HB or yeah, food would, coats even, but it's it's it's, it's very it's solid. solid little card. Yeah, you know, and especially with not that many people playing Yogg these days, I think it's quite strong. Yeah, it's um, you know three cards. Mm -hmm. um, face check is tough. You yeah. can't just you know Eli. You can just bounce off of, but. You know, Victor's going to cost you at least a click because you don't want to take brain damage as, mm -hmm. as wizard. Yeah, so Jake jamming into the road here. There's only one David counter left, so likely just trying to drain David counters. Do you think it's something he cares about on Josh's side, or is it just pure bait here? Could be a Jackson. Yeah. I, I, I don't think he would. Yeah. Oh, well, there's the knife. Yeah. No, there's, there's the knife. Goes. And Adonis. it's, oh, Adonis. Okay. That's the other thing that I think. <laughs> yeah, that that's, could be that too. Yeah. <laughs> I was not thinking that. I know a lot of the uh, the Jeeves decks are very heavily focused on the Operation Econ. Since you're having to use Jeeves to soak a server, it can be tough to protect the assets as well. I mean, especially at this point, too, Double Forks is yes. pretty pretty yeah. popular. A yeah. lot of people are shifting towards Operation. But, yes. You know, Adonis is He's, good it, money I mean, it's you can stick it. Really good, yeah. I know, yeah, both you and I, Sean, played uh, HB on this day. Yeah. And at least for me, it uh, didn't work out that great. <laughs> no, and it's I uh, I always get spoiled by Breaker Bay too. Yeah, like watching him put that Adonis down without him breaking. Yeah, like oh, it makes you're gonna pay four credits for an Adonis <laughs> campaign, man. You guys are spoiled. Yeah, I know. <laughs> having to actually, yeah, man, having to actually res assets for money. I have to pay for this. Are you kidding me? There okay. goes the biotic yeah, putting the score. screws to him here. So yeah. that gets rid of the employee strike and puts him on six points to Josh's two. And those architects are still really tough to get through. And that's hard, too, because against fast advance, you really want to be trying to check the top of their exactly, deck. Exactly, yeah. Because if they just top it, top deck and agenda, especially at game point. Right. Um, and a little low on money, but I mean, you, that's Yeah, that's with, the, with the shipments and shipments, efficiency, yeah. you don't even need a big credit threshold to score out. Yeah, he's he, only he could top deck in three two. And yeah, and that's so. just game. And even he could, depending on how many shipments, he's only played one of them. So there's probably two left in the deck. Could potentially even fast advance out a food. I suppose he's still got three of those efficiency committee or two of those efficiency committee tokens left. Stalling over, Victor. The idea ability is back, so gaining money. And yeah, there's been a lot of talk about how do you react to employee strike, a lot of corps deciding whether or not to slot in currents, and at least for me, I found an HB, the solution is just biotic things out, usually. Mm -hmm. I mean, especially with those three twos. Yeah. You know, just yeah. kind of never advance a three two. Mm -hmm. You have so many upgrades and asset economy that, mm -hmm. you know, it, it's so tough as a as a runner to make the right calls to whether it's an agenda or not hanging mm -hmm. back there, or if it's just... An Eve that yeah, you don't want right. to. You don't want to spend the the money to go in yeah. before it's res. Yeah, and I mean that's the thing I love playing about HP so much is you could just keep smacking stuff into the remote. You have so much installable high value stuff that it gives you a lot of options. Yeah, so he bounces off the Eli and then decides to parasite it instead of spending uh, three cards to break. Endless parasites. Endless parasites. It's an all you can eat parasite buffet, <laughs> and you're invited. So again, trying to re as, as fast as that remote keeps getting destroyed, it keeps getting built back up. I think that's why we saw so much 
Paul and, uh, and yes. an HP at this. You know, it's just you need 17, 18. Yes. Yeah. If you're going to try to score behind ice, you need a lot of it and you need ways to defend it. You know, it's not even like you can smack down a couple sand sands and try to yeah. them out either because now you have a uh, three uh, three recurring credits to take care of those. So right. Yeah, a lot of the kind of the way that assets were sort of balanced is oh they're a huge like they might have a powerful effect but they're a huge credit swing for the runner to take out is sort of mitigated by wizard, which gives him some really advantageous plays. Yeah, it's been better lately. We've seen a lot more low res yeah, cost, high I, trash cost mm -hmm. assets. You know, mm -hmm. kind of, potentially as a response to wizard, yeah, kind of being dominant and showing mm -hmm. the power of three recurring credits to trash. But. Yeah. And just a lot of the, the early assets in the game were just very low trash costs. And so even against runners that weren't wizard, they were just irrelevant a lot of the time. Oh, they're back on strike. <laughs> These employees, man, I tell you. Android workforce, not very reliable. I guess. Right. Yeah. I'm, if these knew, employees keep going on strike, I'm firing them and getting some biotic labor myself. Not making a strong case for humanity first here. <laughs> So again, yeah, just pressuring that remote over and over. And the David is down right now, so that's potentially another wraparound with something relevant behind it. Although at Jake's current credit level, he couldn't score and protect, so... Hmm. See the same old thing, another Faust or two. Carefully considering here. Yeah, because even it is looking, you know, like a comfortable spot for Wizard. He's got a lot of things in play, but Jake is sitting on six points, and if he has a shipment and a 3 2, he just wins the game. So Josh has got to be really nervous and can't really take turns off here. And so we see the Turing, but it puts him to zero. Oh, wait a minute. Nope, wait, a minute. Uh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Uh oh. Uh -oh. oh, no, he's going in on HQ. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> he rushed the Turing, bounced off, and then ran HQ. I got nervous there for a second. That makes sense. <laughs> and there's the pancakes. So no money to res whatever that is. It makes me think it's maybe, maybe Jackson or something there behind that Turing. Would he have gone to zero to protect the Jackson? Could it be another uh, Jeeps? I, trash have we have we trashed down all the G's at this point? Uh, all three G's are gone. Oh, that's just a, a purge there. I, I don't know. So he purges viruses there to keep Eli alive? So does that signal that there's something in hand? Or is it just nothing better to do? <laughs> he might not have anything to replaced the, the Eli. Line. Yeah, that's true. He's he's, yeah, he's trashed out a fair bit of ice at this point. Mm -hmm. And we know he's not running super strong on ice. Right. Double career fair in hand. At this point in the game, not what you want to see. <laughs> <laughs> I swear those career fairs are yeah. at the wrong time. They're always in the bottom five cards <laughs> unless your opponent is playing them and right. then they're in the top five. <laughs> Josh. So with the purge on Eli, yeah, maybe thinking there's something in HQ. Should I take the time to go check? Here's the David. He spent a lot of money to protect whatever's behind that Turing. So let's go check, and it's Ash. Okay, so he is running Ash. But yeah, the, the credit totals are such that it, it would be tough to use Ash even. Yeah, it's setting up for a longer game. Maybe he's yeah. going to have to score out at this point. Right. I mean, I think still at this point, Jake's... Game plan is draw an agenda. <laughs> Profit. So yeah, that kind of is questionable. Do you just start drawing really heavily as Jake? Assuming that he has at least one other shipment from Sansan San in hand by this point. Oh, that's another Ash. And man, spoons Jeez. down. <laughs> Can't keep a remote up to save his life. But can we uh, take a second to recognize those two architects holding R&D? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Architect has been spectacular. And that's, man, even at one influence, I'm putting three of those guys <laughs> in every HB deck I make. Anarch has not gotten any weaker. 
And it was just, yeah. Two installs for free. Yeah. And even if they get Mimic up, it's uh, always two credits. It's never going to be worse than that. Just a very solid piece of waste. And I will say probably my favorite of the World Champ design cards so far. No offense to uh, the other guys that have designed (laughs) since then, but just very solid. CBI raid, pretty situational. Deuce is wild, kind of generically good. Architect, top Mm -hmm. stuff. It's made its way on the most wanted list. It has, which (laughs) you could say, yeah, maybe an issue there. (laughs) And Lovey coming down on Josh's side. It puts him to zero, but he's got Daily Cast coming up. Got his draw engine up. And Jake is just jamming that remote over and over. Trying to make Josh waste his time. Waste his David's. And maybe there's, yeah, one turn he doesn't go check. And that's the winning agenda. So let's see if we've seen an efficiency. And then the rest have all been 3-2. So there's three of the 3-2 agendas left. Probably... Two global food. So that puts it where on eight. Puts us another twelve. Then there's probably one other efficiency or something like that. So there's still a fair number of agendas in the deck at this point. And we if he's if he'd gotten them into the hand, you gotta expect that he could be scoring them out. Okay, and here we go for the Jackson play. Just try to draw into the win here. Or set it up for next turn at least. Medium on the table, but no Mimic, so we can't get in that many times in R&D. And yeah, as Josh, you've got to figure he's probably drawn it by now. That would be my feeling, at least. At this point, you you want to keep a 3-2 in hand, too. Mm-hmm. Probably exactly one 3-2 in hand. Yes. If that's what you want. Yeah, yeah um, with Jackson, you... Because if you get that opening, you gotta take it. Yep. Yeah, you take the one in five to win the game and take the well, not take the tournament on Jake's side, but force the game to at, at the very least. And we see the HQ run. There's another architect. Oh. <laughs> Triple. That's not yeah. What he wants to see. That is, no, <laughs> certainly not. Because that is, I'm assuming, going right on top. If he doesn't draw, and there's the biotic. Okay, that's a matter of money, right? Right. So it's yeah, either a matter of money or having a shipment from San San, and the game is looking decided. Bring back Jackson, and I mean you probably you get yeah probably want to bring back Ice or just yeah Jeeves, <laughs> double Jeeves and Jackson. Yeah, I mean it's. It's your win condition, it's money. Mm -hmm. And it's something to keep him forced to go keep checking this remote at the very least. And it's not three credits or less, so it's not a free trash, at least off R&D. So it at least slows him down a bit if he goes mimic and heavy on R&D. We see three cutlery cutlery events in there. Just doesn't stop. Yeah, but man, thank God for Architect. And dumping... Actually dumping a bunch of the cutlery to break the Architects with Faust. Oof. Grabs the food. But you know, that's the best one he could have yeah, taken there. Yeah, true. So that even though he grabs that, it maybe gives him access to something he can score right off the top. And it's looking like he's not... Not getting to it here. See, so yeah, there's a balance between wanting to draw into the agenda and wanting to have money for the biotic. And so how Jake switches off between credits and drawing will be will be interesting here. Yeah, because, you know, it's always tempting. You want to find the right cards or you want to find your burst yeah. down or something like that to kind of jump you up. But if you draw it and then you don't have the money to play, it's tough. So, yeah, yeah. it's this balancing act. And yeah, takes the money instead of defending HQ. But again, yeah, without that lovely Breaker Bay, you can't even resin Adonis without, without this kind of money. So yeah, it looks like his 
money so far is hedge funds and Adonis. I don't Ooh. think we've seen. Oh. oh, there's Mimic. Okay, this is this is this is bad. She's two. Jeeves. And it's another food. So actually, oh, like yeah. that's exactly what Jake wants him to steal. <laughs> six six. Two credits left. You've got the cards to break, so you can go back one more time. You'll see two fresh cards. But you know, well, hmm, yeah, you know he's not going to draw the winning agenda, but he might already have it in hand. So how bad would this cripple Josh if he goes back again? I would do it. I mean, yeah. Two, two fresh cards. Yeah, two, yeah. You can't pass that up. I mean, you're at game point right now. Mm-hmm. Two fresh cards, and next turn, right. every run is another. Right. It adds one card to each run. So. Mm-hmm. Downside takes is, me. I mean, money. He doesn't have yeah. a lot of it. Yeah. No no liberated counts out Ooh, right now. Pops the cyber decks, and we know that top card is safe. Okay. He's already seen that. So, <laughs> timely cyber decks. Puts Jake back down to zero, but saves the game potentially. Josh is on enough money, though, I think, next turn where he can just mimic through those architects. And it would be a fresh card. Jake drawing heavily. And yeah, if he's got if he's got shipment, he doesn't even need any money to score. He just needs to find one of those three three for two agendas. I think we've still got no, he'll still need a buck. He's got employee strike. Oh, he doesn't have employee strike. Okay, so he needs a buck. Okay, so it takes a couple bucks. See, I would have lost the tournament right there. Yeah. <laughs> employee strike, so good. And it's, this last employee strike, the first one went down pretty fast, but this last one has it's been up a long right. time. It's been, it's been a lot, been a lot of money. Because otherwise, yeah, Jake could have thrown that third architect on top, had money to res. Protect HQ. Protect, yes. So taking the buck. Yeah. Exactly. And so breaks both architects. Looking at, oh, and oh, there it is. Damn. Wow. And Jake had two shipments. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, so he had it next turn. It? He had it next turn with the efficiency committee. Wow. Whoa. He must have just drawn the efficiency committee that turn. Oh, that's brutal. Jake just looking for an agenda for the longest time. Wow. And Josh is able to grab it out. He gets the medium or the mimic at just the right time and goes through on R&D. So... Josh is our winner. Takes the top eight completely undefeated. Sweeps all of his games with Wizard. Yep, strong defense of why most wanted list two yes. was so <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's such if, a large. If game. you've been watching this whole series of videos, you've seen a lot of Wizard decks that look very similar to one another. Mm -hmm. um, beware, the deck does still exist after the most wanted list. It's certainly weaker than it was, but it is still around. Don't discount it. Oh, sweet. And there's that credits. this the sweet credits that sweet <laughs> trophy. Josh looks like he's already got the North American champ play met from last year, so doing well for himself in the game Netrunner. Uh, and thank you all. Thanks for watching this whole video series. Uh, it's been a lot of videos. I had a lot of fun putting these together. I hope you guys have enjoyed. And uh, we'll be seeing you in the near future, hopefully, with some more tournaments and games and content from the Rochester, New York area. So thanks for watching, guys. Thanks, guys. Thank you.